Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real this afternoon in my kitchen. I'm gonna put together a broccoli, onion, ham, cheese, quiche, crustless quiche. Very easy, very high in protein. We're gonna have that tomorrow. My best good friend Winifred is coming to help me clean out my closet. And so I know that we'll be busy working. And I thought, you know what, I can make this ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator, and we can have a nice slice of this quiche for lunch tomorrow or brunch, whatever comes first, whenever we're hungry. I'm gonna crack uh, eight eggs. And I'm gonna mix three fourths cup of milk. You can use heavy cream if you wish. I'm gonna use 1% milk, that's what I've got. Listen, I figured that's the least I can do is have something good to eat for her. She's willing to come and help me clean out that closet. Let me turn it on just a little bit here. There we go. She likes doing that kind of stuff and organizing stuff. And I, I, I get overwhelmed. I, I'll just be honest with you. Once it gets to a certain point, I just get overwhelmed about it. So she was like, I'll come help you. I said, okay, great. Okay, here's the last egg. So eight eggs, three fourths cup of milk or heavy whipping cream. I am sauteing a red onion and some broccoli florets that I'm gonna use. Let me check those. Let me cut those off and get those into the mixture. All right, three-fourths cup of milk. And you know, you can eat quiche for any occasion. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. It's, you can eat it any time. Let me grab a whisk. I'm going to put some salt and pepper to taste in here, about a teaspoon. I'm about out of salt. I need to refill this. And you can use really any seasoning that you like. If you have fresh herbs, they would be good in this. Set that to the side, and in the bottom of this pie, pottery pie pan, pie plate, pie dish, I'm gonna put in my uh, red onions and broccoli, and I'm gonna save a little bit to put on top. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom. Okay. that on the top. I'm going to take just some deli ham and uh, cut that up and put that in. I'm going to do probably about six pieces. You don't have to put ham. You could make this veggie. You could put the green peppers in it. You, anything you want. Asparagus, um, tomatoes, like those little Tommy tomatoes would be good in it, little cherry tomatoes. We just got home from the farm show in Raleigh, North Carolina, and so I ran to the grocery store to get my ingredients so we could have this tomorrow. I'm gonna just put my ham in there. Okay, and with that, let me wash my hands. Let me give my hands a little wash. And with that, I'm gonna put some shredded cheddar cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you want. If you like mozzarella, use mozzarella, Parmesan. It's limitless on that. I'm gonna just shake some cheese in here. This is a eight ounce package, I think. 
Yeah, and I'll probably use most of it. That looks about right. Well, there's not that much left. I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole thing. I'm gonna spread that out. Okay. Now I'm gonna pour this egg mixture, egg and milk mixture over the top. Crustless quiche. And now to the top, very top of that, I'm gonna add the rest of my onions and broccoli and just sprinkle that around and make it pretty. showing a little purple or red onion. Some people call it purple, some people call it red. I call it red, but it does come out kind of purple. That's going into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes until it's brown on the top and set. And that is what we're gonna have tomorrow for a clean out the closet day. Quiche y'all, broccoli, ham, cheese, onion, it's going to be delicious. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for following the page. A like, share, and comment. Bye now.